Do you, do you think Mayor White has run a good campaign so far? Is he the candidate you hoped he would be? He is the candidate I expected him to be, and he is, the, he is running a, a campaign that I think uh, puts him in a position to win this race. Look, um, you, you don't share the concern of some on the left that Mayor White has not been aggressive enough in attacking Governor Perry. Jason Stanford, the campaign manager for Chris Bell, wrote a piece in the Tribune that was then followed by a piece by Bob Moser in the Texas Observer, in both cases making the same argument, Mayor White, it's time for you to kick Governor Perry in his well, business right now. You know, you know, well, what, it, are you, what are you waiting for? Get going on this. I like Jason, yeah. um, but we ain't calling Chris Bell Governor Bell right now. Um, well, you can take issue with Jason Stanford. Uh, take, take issue with Jason Stanford, but Bob Moser of The Observer followed it up with a very similar column, again, criticizing the White campaign look, for look, not being aggressive. Here's part of the reason I think, a couple things about this. Um, Bill White, one of the reasons I like Bill White is Bill White is a very businesslike candidate. He is, um, he is somebody that I think when people come to know him, and it's a big old state, and it's still, what, six months away. And, and I've run statewide, as you pointed out, thank, and I appreciate you pointing out I didn't out say that. unsuccessfully. Yeah, yeah, I just uh, noted that you ran. They ain't calling me general today. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, but, but one of the, one of the great lessons of 2002 was it's a big old state, and it, it takes a long time to get well known. And as you know, Bill, while extremely and, and very positively well known in the Houston media market, which, by the way, is a big deal in this race, um, he's not as well known in the rest of the state. He is making himself known. And I think when people see, uh, hear of his record and see uh, Bill, I don't think he's going to be the kind of aggressive candidate that we all expect to see in politics where you've got to bang heads together. I think what they're going to want, I think part of the fatigue that people in this state are feeling right now is they want somebody that will get involved in the details, somebody that will roll up their sleeves and, and spend time. I mean, uh, that's what we need. Bill White, and, and I shouldn't probably say this, uh, but uh, because I'm not sure he will fully appreciate it, but Bill White's a nerd. Um, Thank you that, for the headline of this conversation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that's a good thing. Bill White is going to be the kind of governor that will take the time to understand the details, and I don't think he needs to be uh, what we all tend to think we want in these political campaigns, which is who can be who can get the biggest headlines and be the one that bashes the other side the most. It is time in Texas we had somebody who cared about the policy, uh, was willing to be a nerd, and was willing to immerse themselves in the, the answers. But, but, but he has to get into governor's office before he can do all that. Didn't he and his campaign watch the Hutchison game films? I mean, the fact is this is setting up. Is it not very similar to the way the primary set up? Um, I don't think so. You don't uh, think that he did watch the films, or you don't think no, they I, need to? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, good point. Yeah. Um, I don't think that it's shaping up. My, I don't think so. Was I don't think it is shaping up to be that. Um, I think it is shaping up to be a very significant contrast between somebody who uh, uh, has had a highly successful record uh, down in the city of Houston, uh, became uh, highly respected by people of whatever party they identified themselves with right. and who cares deeply about the issues at a time when we're really going to need somebody who cares deeply about the issues.